1999, that's when we got married. So, been doing it. Been doing it ever since. Hi, hi America. We're the Johnsons. Um, we are right in the middle of packing to go to Germany, but if you want to come into the chaos, come on. Come on in. <laughs> How long have we been packing? Uh, it's a good question. Actually, we've been, we never unpacked from our last move, really. Here's a funny thing. I follow her a lot of times, so a lot of people are gonna know when they see, they'll be like, hey, aren't you Sergeant Johnson's husband? Aren't you Master Sergeant Johnson's husband? Aren't you Sergeant Major Johnson's husband? That's my title. So I don't get my own. I don't get to be Major Johnson. I get to be her husband. Michelle was on her way to Korea, and I was coming here just for this last year. Um, we didn't unpack a lot of our things, so we kind of been living a little bit out of the box. Every year is different because you're moving and, and things. So as soon as you start to get bored at something and get into a routine, it's time to pick up and move again. So I actually like that. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. Although she hates moving. So I hate that's the weird, moving. Right? It's the weird part, right? Yeah. 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 So we have three boys. When it comes down to being able to stay together, obviously the military, there's needs of the army, needs of the military. So there are going to be times where families are going to have to be separated. And in our case, being dual military, it makes it a little bit more challenging. One of the biggest things we took into consideration was their stability. My husband was in high school. His senior year of high school, his family moved. And um, he was really, it really, you know, affected him as a, you know, as a senior in high school to have no friends, to have no activities that he was used to doing. Um, so he didn't want to do that to our kids. One of the things we realized was that we were gonna to have to be separate. My husband and I were gonna to have to be separate. What was offered to me was Korea. So I spent the year in Korea while um, she stayed behind and she started working for the Sergeant Major of the Army. As I was returning from Korea, we found out she was selected for the Sergeant Major's Academy. No problem. Now, we could have moved to Fort Bliss, but we would have had to pull the kids out of school. Instead of us moving there, I came back here and I stayed here with them. So that, that was our second year apart. It's hard being apart at certain times for so long. So you, got, you have to maintain that and you have to do your best to, to work with that and work with what you have. So it has made our family stronger, I believe. By talking to our branch management folks, we were able to figure out a way to align everything so that we could finally be together for this last three years. Going to Germany is kind of the culmination of all of that. Although we won't be there together. We're going there, uh, we're gonna go separately. It's the same country. It's the same it country, matter. but it puts us on the same continent, which yeah. is great. So we'll be about 60 miles apart somewhere in there. But it's, that was, that's what we had to do in order to figure out what's the best plan for our family. Given my own experience, I would have to say that the military as a whole has made us stronger. That, that's just kind of part of life. You gotta, you gotta learn to adjust sometimes, learn to adapt and do your best at where, where you are in your situation. I do think that through whatever struggles we personally have or the family has had, um, that the military, being a military family, has allowed us to, to, to move through it. <laughs>